Hello YouTube. In this video, I will be presenting verses from the Quran which prove beyond a doubt that Hadith is the work of the devil and we must follow the Quran alone. If you do not know what Hadith is, it is a collection of works compiled centuries after Muhammad's death attributing sayings to Muhammad. Current day Muslims hold to the idea that we need these sayings to emulate the Prophet Muhammad and to understand the Quran. I will show you using the Quran why that is painfully false. The Quran claims that it is a complete and clear book. Here are some of the verses highlighting this fact. Surah 14 verse 1 ALR A book which we have sent down to you so that you may bring the people out of the darkness and into the light with the permission of their Lord to the path of the noble, the praiseworthy. Surah 16 verse 89 And the day we send to every nation a witness against them from themselves and we have brought you as a witness against these, and we have sent down to you the book as a clarification for all things, and a guidance and a mercy and good tidings to those who have submitted. Chapter 41, verse 3 A book whose verses are made detailed, an Arabic revelation for a people who know. Chapter 26, verse 2 These are the signs of the Book of Clarity. Muslims claim that the Quran needs Hadith to explain it. Again, the Quran answers his claim since it is God that explains and guides his servants. Chapter 75, verses 16 through 19. Do not move your tongue with it to make haste. It is for us to gather and relate it. So when we relate it, you shall follow its revelation. Then it is for us to explain it. According to Muslims, the word hadith means a collection of traditions containing sayings of the Prophet Muhammad. If we look in Arabic dictionaries, we find the true meaning of hadith, which is something new or recent, a story, report, or narration. Interestingly, the Quran already prophesies the later abuse of the word hadith by Muslims. This is yet another instance of a proof that this book is divine, revealed by the all-knowing Creator. In the following verses, I have left the Arabic word hadith untranslated in order to give you a fuller picture of what the Quran is referring to. The true Arabic translation of Hadith would be narration or stories. Chapter 31 verse 6 And from the people there are those who will purchase a baseless Hadith with which to mislead from the path of God without knowledge and to make it a mockery. These will have a humiliating retribution. Chapter 45 verse 6 These are the revelations of God. We recite them to you with the truth. So in which hadith after God and his revelations do they believe? The Quran calls itself the best hadith. Chapter 39 verse 23 God has sent down the best hadith, a book that is similar to dual. The skins of those who are concerned towards their Lord shiver from it, then their skins and their hearts soften up to the remembrance of God. Such is the guidance of God, he guides with it whomever he wills, and for whoever God misguides, then none can guide him. Chapter 68, verse 44. Therefore, let me deal with those who reject this hadith. We will entice them from where they do not perceive. Many of the hadiths that Muslims believe in are fantastic stories which are incredible. Again, the Quran has a warning against these stories. Chapter 6, verses 1, 1, 2, and 1, 1, 3. And as such, we have permitted the enemies of every prophet, mankind, and jinn devils to inspire each other with fancy words in order to deceive. Had your Lord willed, they would not have done it. You shall disregard them and their fabrications. That is so the hearts of those who do not believe in the hereafter will listen to it and they will accept it, and they will take of it what they will. Finally, the Quran exhorts the believers to take the book of God as the only judge. This verse is response to all those who hold to Hadith as something to be followed. Chapter 6, verse 114 Shall I seek other than God as a judge when he has sent down to you the book fully detailed? Those to whom we have given the book know it is sent down from your Lord with the truth, so do not be of those who have doubt. The current reliance on Hadith and by extension Sunnah is the reason for the humiliation of Muslims around the world. If we make an earnest attempt to understand the Quran based on its own merits, we will not be subjected to the humiliation right now. There are other Muslims who object to the Quran alone guidance because they say that we do not find things such as how to do a prayer, which is called Salat, 
and Hajj in it. Again, this is due to the fact that Salat is not what Muslims do when they pray. They are simply following the rituals passed down to them by their forefathers. Chapter 2, verse 170 And if they are told, follow what God has sent down, they say, No, we will follow what we found our fathers doing. What, if their fathers did not comprehend anything and were not guided? So we see here that Muslims are not willing to abandon the religion of their ancestors. They claim to follow the Quran, but in reality they are following their ancestors. I will make another video explaining what Salat is, God willing. I do hope that this video encourages you to read the Quran yourself and ask God for guidance. Only God can guide, and He guides whom He wills.